Hello and welcome to BD Live, Brightman Designs Live. This is going to be a new live stream setup that uh, we're going to give it a twirl here. So uh, what I found in the past with my live stream events is that uh, there's a lot of planning that goes into it when you pick a topic. So we're going to try a different format where I don't pick a topic, I don't announce it, I don't make a thumbnail description or demo files. I'm just going to show you some projects that I'm working on and we're gonna start from the very beginning on these projects and work them all the way through to the end. And we're not gonna do it all in one shot. We're gonna to have to kind of nudge each project forward on a different Thursday. The plan is to do these live streams. Uh, Thursdays at 10 a.m., I'll work for like one to three hours depending on what's going on, probably closer to the two hour marker. And I'm just gonna pick, uh, Projects that I have on, on my plate right now, and uh, we're gonna just work through them and I'll explain. And you know, the reason I'm doing this uh, is because uh, when I typically create a tutorial and I was doing my live streams, I was always in my recording booth, which is right behind this wall. But now, uh, you know, like when I want to work and get things done quickly, I work out here. So I've got my studio all set up to do live streaming on my main workstation, which is super handy. So now I've got like SketchUp on this screen, I've got Layout on this screen, and you know, I might even have like SketchUp on this one and, and Lumion on this one. Depends on what I'm working on. But I can tell you that when I'm like really digging in and moving fast, I need my three screens and then I keep all the, you know, kind of business stuff over here. But right now we're doing a live stream, so that's what I've got going on. But, you know, it looks like our signal is all good. So, you know, I could bring up, you know, uh, uh, Windows Explorer. And then you could even, like, have your music going. So that's, that's kind of, like, how I work. I, I set up my screens like this. And I think it's going to be advantageous to have you literally sitting here looking over my shoulder and seeing what I'm working on. So let me show you a few of the projects or two of the projects projects I've got in mind here. So uh, this is the first one, which is just a very simple uh, bathroom remodel. Let me show you the drawings first because that's probably a better place to start. So here's the existing conditions. I scanned it with the Canvas 3D scanner um, and then you know kind of worked it into Condoc standards and then created like a very, very simple set of drawings. I mean, and when I when I say simple set of drawings, like this is all I did. Uh, it was, a, you know, a quick burn. Uh, didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. The client didn't want to spend a ton of money on the design because they knew what they wanted. They explained it. All we're doing is just kind of putting a sauna in and kind of eating up this closet. But we'll walk through it and button up our 3D model. We'll get it like, you know, sorted with, um, the conduct tags of level element location condition you know like this is the sauna perhaps we'll take a little bit further you know this this project isn't complete uh, we have a little bit more budget to work on the um you know some of the details but i'm not designing the sauna i'm just kind of like sizing it you know saying uh this thing needs to be whatever it is it's like uh, uh three foot two by five foot five and a half so you know, that's, that's really all my job is, but then I'll, I'll button it up. I'll add the detail, make it look like a sauna. All right, we'll do that together. So that's the first project. Now, the other project is this uh, wagon trail road. This is our existing conditions. And so again, I use the canvas 3d scanner, uh, got all my measurements, you know, just w by waving my iPod, uh, my iPad around. And then on the next page, uh, this is going to be our like proposed conditions. I use layout as a 2D drafting tool. Uh, I find that like sorting out my 2D plans and diagrams and concepts, uh, I find it much easier to work in layout with our conduct 2D symbols. That's what I did here. And so I'm going to walk you through that whole process. Uh, you can see that it's kind of like a, um, a demolition plan almost. And if I look at my layers, you can turn off like, uh, we'll turn off our annotations. And as I go through here, I'll just fix this, like move to layer, annotations, and then we'll turn off our proposed. And then you can see that our existing is left behind. And if I turn off existing and turn on my backgrounds, you can see that I've got like a sketch plan. 
So I print out my existing conditions drawings. I sketch over them. Uh, I, I still like to use a T-square paper pencil markers, all that to kind of generate an idea. And you know that's really how I work. And then I move into the, the full-on permit set. And that's what you're seeing here. So we can talk about like the vicinity map. I used um, I used a placemaker to pull in all the the roads and all that. Uh, we used uh, Valley's instant cladding to get the the siding on there. Uh, I used like t what is it? Um, Topo shaper, and I did the whole like Daniel Tall site workflow to get the survey in here and modeled accurately, integrated with the high resolution aerial imagery. Uh, I, I added a layer to my conduct drawing set to incorporate the survey, I did it on the fly. So we're just gonna work on all this stuff. Like, I think it's gonna be really slick because now I know where I'm going with this project. So it's not like I'm, I'm gonna be kinda, I'll probably be fumbling around a little bit, but like, I, I know where I'm going, I know where I'm trying to get to, I'm not designing on the fly. You know, if I were to record this project like while I'm working on it, there is a bit of uh, kind of downtime where I gotta like figure out what I'm gonna do. But I think if we just start from scratch and spend, you know, a couple hours on it each Thursday over, you know, I'm gonna commit to like 10 episodes of this uh, live event. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And if you guys like it, let me know in the comments, give me the likes, subscribes, all that. Uh, and we'll keep going, all right? So then, uh, let's see, there's a demolition plan, of course, using Conduct tools, and then a proposed conditions plan, roof plan, and then over here we've got our elevations and enlarged plan, pulled in a picture to call out some materials. So that's what the drawings are all about, and then we can go look at like the SketchUp model. And so over here, you know, this is what the whole house looks like. And I did scan the whole thing with Canvas, but I didn't add detail to the front because that's not, I'm not doing any work up there. So this is really where I was working is, uh, you know, if we look at like how this is gonna happen, uh, we're gonna demolish this wall and get rid of all this kind of bathroom stuff. And then you can see here how like if I, you know, freeze, oh yeah, freeze that, freeze that. And then you can see, you know, this is, uh, well, you can see I've, I've got like some, a little bit of work to do. These are, these are uh, not complete projects, although I am submitting these drawings today. So, you know, you can see the level of detail that I model at. Not everything is always absolute perfection. Sometimes, you know, you, you get the space plan sorted and if, if like materials are not my job, um, you know, I, I'm not gonna like model this to perfection because the interior designer is gonna figure out all the details uh, or all the materials. And if, if they provide that to me and then the client wants to see renderings, then I'll run with it. And maybe we'll do some more renderings and things. We'll see how this goes. But you know, that's, I, I just think it's gonna be important to show you like the realistic workflow that I'm using. Like the, when I'm sitting at my desk working fast versus when I'm in the other room with one screen, not a true uh, accurate <laughs> depiction of how I get things done. So please join me every Thursday at 10 a.m. Uh, like I said, we're not gonna announce what I'm working on, but I'm gonna pick like one of these projects to start with and then um, we'll inch them forward, spend like one to three hours. Uh, of course, there'll be recordings on YouTube uh, set the uh, subscribe and set the notification so that you're always aware when we're going live. And you can always watch it later too. And um, yeah, so I'll be working on these projects or sometimes I might just like throw in a random topic just to keep it interesting and keep a variety going. So anyways, I look forward to seeing you on Thursdays all through this fall leading up to SketchUp Basecamp in November. Uh, we've got about 11 weeks out. And uh, please uh, join me on Thursdays. I'll see you soon.